I cannot tell you how many times I have heard couch co-op is dead. There are no more good split screen games or they just don't make multiplayer games like they used to. And before starting this channel, I actually believed it, but that's nowhere near the truth. In fact, we play brand new co-op games every single month of the year. Whether it's a nice cooperative puzzle or a competitive brawler, or maybe a mix of the two, sometimes they are great and sometimes they are just dead awful. But that's what we're here for, to help you find the best new multiplayer games to play on the couch together. So let's take a look at some of the great games that were released this year. Oh man, it's it's getting pretty windy in here. Is that salt I smell? Ah! Oh! It's Ship of Fools, a beautiful hand-drawn roguelite coming from one of our favorite couch co-op publishers, Team 17. Rather than simply bashing your way through loads of enemies, you will need to strategically guard both sides of the ship by continuously loading and firing your cannons and using your paddle to thump any dastardly monsters that are stupid enough to come aboard. Explore the islands of the archipelago, find treasure, repair your ship, purchase new ammo or equipment, and battle fierce sea monsters, all while using a variety of fools, each with their own own unique abilities. Falling Out is a bright and colorful 2D platformer with just a little more than a hint of nostalgia. Collect coins and gems, hop on monsters to kill them, and solve puzzles. The game is filled with randomly generated levels that will start filling with water as time passes. So work together to help each other reach hard to get to areas and watch each other's backs for baddies around every corner. You'll play as a married couple whose vacation landed them in these booby trap infested ruins. You'll need to decipher blueprints, buy materials, and collect scraps to craft weapons and items that will help you on your deep diving adventure. Take on big bad bosses and enjoy your time in this simple but effective co-op romp. Whew, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. It's almost as if Ryrie left the airlock open! Oh, whoops. Take Overcooked and combine it with a space theme and you get fueled up. This action-packed game supports up to four players, and instead of passing chopped tomatoes back and forth for the stew, you'll be passing meteorites to put in the grinder and hoping they don't explode before they get there. Your job is to retrieve spaceships that are in less than stellar condition and return them in tip-top shape. This space adventure features an adorable assortment of characters to play, including a banana. You will be faced with tons of spaceship related tasks to complete, from patching holes and keeping the engines fueled, to putting out fires and doing whatever you can to keep the airlocks closed. All of this while maneuvering through dangerous terrain. Enjoy solving the puzzles of each unique ship, whether it's pressure plates that open doors for one another or constantly moving bits and pieces. Bravery and Greed is a fantasy action roguelite wrapped in a colorful hack and slash shell. With up to four players, you'll dive through four different elemental dungeons with challenging bosses at the end, all leading to eventually reaching the Dwarven Sky Fortress, where you hope to pillage more gold than even Jeff Bezos could ever dream of. There's cool new gear to find that will augment your abilities, such as giving you double jump or faster movement speed, and wands that give you powerful offensive spells to cast. You also get to work together the entire time with the neat add-on of pilfering gold from each other before reviving them. Battling your way through each dungeon, fighting the new baddies, and discovering hidden chests was a fantastic time. And for a couple who is not the biggest fan of roguelites, we felt like the difficulty was really well balanced. The thing about this next game is that literally anything in your house could try to kill you. Oh, I guess this one's just a vacuum. Robo Revenge Squad is a manic four player twin stick shooter with an interesting emphasis on melee combat. You play as disgruntled robots assembled from a ragtag assortment of everyday objects, from refrigerators and baseball bats to disco balls and washing machines. These robots are hell-bent on seeking revenge against the enemies invading their home planet. You'll need to fight waves of enemies to complete levels and take on the bosses before promptly evacuating. And don't forget to customize your battle bot to your heart's content with unlockable weapons and a bizarre combination of scissors and knobs you could probably find in your own home. If you're looking for something incredibly fast paced, saturated with color, and filled to the brim with action, then Jitsu Squad may just be your game. This 2D beat-em-up supports up to four players in couch co-op and lets you battle through loads of enemies, mistake yourself for someone else's character in the jumble of battle, and have a blast pulling out sick ninja moves in this anime-style game. As you go along, you can learn new techniques for each character, fight fantastic bosses, and experience several beautiful worlds to battle your way through. This game looks great, though we have yet to play it since they offered us a code, then promptly ignored us after we said that we would love one. Oh wait, I guess it's coming by the end of this week. 
so we'll probably get it while we're editing this video. No list of couch co-op games is complete without a good puzzler, and Escape Academy is just that. One of the most fun activities we've had the pleasure of enjoying is escape rooms. They really get you thinking and paying attention to everything around you. Escape Academy does a fantastic job of bringing those activities that normally require you to be social and go out into the perilous world with grass and mountains, and eliminates the friction of having to breathe fresh air by making those escape rooms in digital form. Seriously, as much as we do love fresh air, this game provides a fantastic experience. Each puzzle is unique and engaging. We never felt like the game repeated itself. We also really appreciated that the story was short and to the point, allowing us to enjoy more frequent puzzling with just enough context to understand what was going on. If you want something with a little bit of challenge and just a tinge of worry as you frantically try to escape before the flames consume you, then this is a great one to pick up. That man is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice but we did. If you're interested in what Galaga looks like in 2022, then look no further than Gun Tech 2. This twin stick shooter will have you blasting enemies away in a crazy mishmash of space battles and boss fights. With up to four players in local co-op, you can fight your way through loads of enemies, deliver vaccines to fight a deadly pandemic, and rescue scientists. Enjoy the wild mayhem of blasting enemies with your friends. Play either the arcade mode to try your hand at getting the best high score, or adventure mode to get a little bit of that juicy story. Up Great ships, enjoy unlocking 20 different guns to use, and avoid obstacles as you try to save humanity. Nothing beats a good old rotten tomato. That is, except for the elite team of carrots. Kamikaze Veggies is a very interesting title that offers something a little different. While these veggies weren't quite to our taste, I think it deserves to be mentioned for those of you out there with an appetite for a little something more spicy. Unlike with most of the games we played, this one is rated teen and it's for good reason. Experience Kamikaze Runs as a host of different veggies as you try to foil the plans of the evil tomato. Stealthily drop into missions with a set of goals, sneak around enemy tomatoes, toss grenades, lay landmines, and do a kamikaze run to complete the more difficult missions. The game includes curses in six different languages and is definitely for a niche group of people. But if that's you, then go pick this one up. While Voyage was released on Steam last year, it made its way to consoles this year. And since we mainly focus on playing our couch co-op games on consoles, we wanted to give it a mention. This cinematic adventure game focuses more on telling a story than developing any real complicated gameplay. The interesting thing is that it tells the entire story wordlessly, leaving you to feel the story through the calming soundtracks and beautiful hand-drawn art. The game's main focus is on exploration with a smattering of light puzzles throughout. You'll find yourself traveling through various different landscapes, from caverns and deserts to jungles and grassy fields. This game is here for those of you who want to sit back, relax, and take a break from the world. Oh yeah, and you can hug each other, which is cute as well. Like all of the games we just talked about, this video is going to give you a list of the best co-op games to play as a couple. So if you're looking for something to spend just a little more great quality time together, then go check it out and we will see you over there. We love you guys. Y'all are awesome.